And so with that, let's let's go ahead and begin. First of all, I want to just show everyone this calendar uh, that we made. It's it's the it's the Enoch calendar. And the Enoch calendar is based on two counts. It's based on the 364 day count, which is the solar count. That's the uh, that's the uh, the number of days that the sun rotates 364 days. And then we have the lunar count, which is a 354 day count. So you can look at the Enoch calendar as two separate calendars. It's the calendar of the 364 day sun count and the calendar for the 354 day count. And next to that, we have the Hebrew calendar and we call it the screwed up Hebrew calendar because their calendar is all pretty much, much messed up. They should be following the Enoch calendar, the original calendar that, that the Lord uh, God gave to Enoch. And this is the right corrected calendar, the Enoch calendar. And so they they have their own calendar that they're that they're following. But as we go through it and have gone through it in the past, we're finding that there's there's a prob problems within their calendar, and they're not keeping the right counts of things. And then next to that, you can see we have the Gregorian calendar, which you know is our current dates now in 2020. And so what we've done is we put them all on one spreadsheet so that we can track everything together. Okay. So what I want to catch everybody up on is some of our last teachings that we did on uh, what we called the hidden fast. And uh, if you look at some of our prior videos that we did on interrupts 165, you probably, some of you remember this teaching that we did on the hidden covenant and the covenant that, that uh, the minor and major prophets made with the Lord. And what, what we taught about was this in this list of major and minor prophets, what happened is they came out of captivity from Babylon and they came out of captivity together. And when you read any one of these stories here, they're all talking about the same story of coming out of captivity and how they made a new covenant with the Lord. Because when they came out of captivity, they realized why they kept going in and out of captivity. It's because what happened? They didn't remove the strangers from their land. They didn't restore and rebuild the Lord's temple. They didn't keep the Lord's covenant that he gave them to keep. And they were not keeping the Enoch calendar. So when they came out of captivity, all these major and minor prophets, what they did was they got together and it was in the month of Tishri, the seventh month. And, and they decided they're going to remake a covenant with the Lord. They're going to make their own covenant with the Lord. And what they decided to do was basically four major things. One, they decided they're going to remove all the strangers from their land. Then they promised the Lord that they're going to restore and rebuild the temple. Then they promised the Lord that they're going to keep the Lord's covenant. They made a covenant to keep his covenant. And then the part of their covenant was to reinstate the Enoch calendar and that they would use the Enoch calendar. And so let me just, you know, briefly uh, go over uh, what, what that was about. So when you go to Nehemiah 8, so what's happened here is in ne Nehemiah is talking about Ezra went before the people when they came out of captivity. And what he did was on the first day of the seventh month. So we know this is Tishri. Okay. And so this is the month of Tishri where, where, where Nehemiah and Ezra and, and all the major and minor prophets were there. And I'm going to show you that they were there. They, they went before the Lord. They went before the congregation of the people and they, and they, they, they made a covenant unto the Lord. And we're going to show you that. When you get into um, Nehemiah 9, it talks about the 24th day of the same month. So that, that month is Tishri, the 24th of Tishri, which we all know we just passed on the Enoch calendar. So when we go to the Enoch calendar, and I'm going to scroll down here so you can all see. What's happened is we've now just passed this 24th day of Tishri, seventh month, 24th day. Okay, so we thought this was a high watch date and, and possibly an escape date. And we were watching for that date. And then we said, well, maybe the Lord wasn't using the lunar count. Maybe he's using the solar count. And so that date is over here on, on the solar count of, of the Enoch calendar right here. The 24th day of the seventh month, which was November 14th. Well, that date passed also. So we started wondering, where, where is the Lord counting from? Why, why are we missing all these high watch dates? Well, what you're going to learn in this video is we didn't miss anything. We are on track. 
we are absolutely on track and, and I'm going to be able to prove it with this video that we are on the correct timeline and that in fact, we should be using the Enoch calendar to count the days to the escape. And that's going to be the big revealing of this video. And, and we're going to get into that. But let, let's get back into the major and minor prophets just, just a little bit, because I want to show you who, who all was there. So when you read Nehemiah 9, when you read this chapter, what's going on is they're, they're talking amongst themselves, and, and then they're talking to the Lord, and then they're, they're going through all the problems that they've been through for the last 70 years or more, and, and, they're, and they understand, they understood why they kept going into captivity. So they finally decided to what? They said, all right, because of all these reasons that we haven't been following the Lord, they said, we make a sure covenant and write it and our princes and Levites and priests and seal unto it. They're sealing a covenant unto the Lord because they have realized they've realized over the years why they keep going back and forth in and out of captivity. Why do other peoples keep conquering them? Because they understood what they were doing wrong. And what they were doing wrong was they were allowing the strangers to remain in their land. They weren't rebuilding the temple. They didn't keep the Lord's covenant. They weren't using the Enoch calendar. What were they doing when they went into captivity? Every time they went into captivity, they were using the calendar of the people who took them into captivity. They were not using the Lord's calendar. And this is why even until today, they haven't kept the Enoch calendar. But back in these days, they decided to make their covenant on the 24th of Tishri. That's why I've got this highlighted. And in their covenant they made unto the Lord on the 24th of Tishri was they were going to do these four major things. To remove the strangers from their land. To restore and rebuild the Lord's temple. To keep the Lord's covenant. To reinstate the Enoch calendar. And where are they today in today's modern times? They've been in the land for 70 years. Some say it's been more than 70 years because if you count from 1948. So, okay, during these, these years that they've been there, there's still strangers living in their land. They have not rebuilt the temple. They're not keeping the Lord's covenant, and they are not using the Enoch calendar. Is it possible, according to Scripture, and we're going to show that to you in Daniel 9 and in Zechariah, is it possible because they haven't kept this covenant now with the Lord for these last 70 years they've been there, that it's possible the Lord's going to put them back into captivity and they're going to go through destruction again? That's what Daniel 9 tells us. That's what Zechariah tells us. That because they have not kept this sure covenant that they made with the Lord in these 70 years since they've been back in the land, that it's very likely the Daniel 9 prophecy will come true to the destructions of Jerusalem. And Zechariah even tells us that too. And so when you go back into Nehemiah, it says that, that there's, they're, they're making this sure covenant. Now, who made that sure covenant? Who was all there? Nehemiah was there. This is the listing. This is a listing of a lot of the major and minor prophets who were there. He's listed them out. Nehemiah has listed them out. He includes himself, Azariah, Jeremiah was there. Obadiah, Baruch, Daniel was there. How many of us knew that these major and minor prophets were all there at the same time? Micah was there. They all came out of captivity together. Elam, Aniah, Hananiah, Messiah, Meharim. They have all came out of the captivity together. And so where else do we find a list? You know, Ezra was there. Watch this. We go to Ezra 5. He's telling the same story. That's what I was, I was saying. When you go to any one of these major and minor prophets, they're all telling the same story of when they came out of captivity. About how they made a sure covenant with the Lord during the month of Tishri. And what does Ezra say? He says Haggai was there. Zerubbabel was there. Zechariah was there. And we're going to focus on this today. We're going to focus on Zechariah today. We're going to focus on Haggai today. Who else did Ezra say was there? Daniel. He's telling us Daniel was also there. Zechariah, Obadiah. 
Even Ezra is listing out all the major and minor prophets, just like Nehemiah did, because they were all there together. And some have asked in, before in the past, they've asked me, well, was this a covenant they were supposed to continually keep? Yes, of course it is. They were always to keep this covenant. You don't make a covenant with the Lord and break your covenant. What does Jeremiah say? We already showed that Jeremiah was there. What does he say? See, he's telling the same story. Jeremiah is saying the exact same story. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thitherward, saying, come and let us join ourselves to the Lord. See, they're enjoining themselves to the Lord now in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. Remember, Jeremiah was there. We just showed that. And he's reinstating that it's a perpetual covenant that shall never be forgotten. And this is why it's important to understand. They've been in the land for these 70 years now. And they've never kept this perpetual covenant that they promised the Lord that they would keep. 